Hey guys, Johnny here back with more Call of Duty Mobile. Today I share with you guys my HUD settings for the phone. Heads up display, four fingers claw on the phone. Been playing since the start on the iPad. I always played on the iPad and I just started the phone three days ago. Yes, this is the Red Magic 6. It does have air triggers, but I decided not to use them. I wanna go four fingers claw. Uh, people ask why. If I get used to triggers, it's like, maybe playing with controller and I will never get better with the four fingers claw. So I said, if I'm gonna jump on the phone, I'm gonna go straight to the four fingers. Same kind of layout I had on my iPad. So this is four fingers claw, right? So I decided to start straight to four fingers. So I hold my phone like that uh, and I use my four fingers to play. Only four fingers and I can hold my phone in my hands. I don't lay it on the table. Uh, so I cannot use six fingers, right? Uh, I didn't want to do transition to two times and then three fingers and then four fingers because I'm already playing four fingers on the iPad. So first thing I want to talk about is the top right corner, right? The right index finger. Uh, and you will see a lot of players, they will use the same finger for slide, jump and the uh, ADS button, all right? Uh, some guys prefer it on the left side, some guys prefer on the right. So if you've been playing Call of Duty on Xbox, PlayStation, you, you are used to uh, aim with the left trigger and shoot with the right. But on the iPad and on the phone, I, I swap. I like to fire with the left button, uh, left index, because when I aim with my right thumb, is this is a different hand. So I feel I have better control uh, while aiming with my thumb if I don't have to fire with the same hand. But again, it's personal preference. Uh, and the reload button you see on the right side, I don't use it with my finger, I use it with my thumb. So let's say you see uh, on the hand cam, if I, if I fire and then I reload, I reload with my thumb. Yeah, you see my thumb. So I don't have to move my hand. I, I can just move my thumb, uh, just, it's a, it's a half a circle. So you, when you place your buttons, you place them on the line that your finger will, or your thumb will move like that. So you don't have to go and click. You can just move your thumb uh it, it's natural so you have to place it so it, it just comes naturally so with the right finger i i could crouch or slide and jump and again the finger it doesn't have to move like it's just one on top of the other the distance and the and the size of the buttons is big enough so i hit without an effort so i i can just uh i can just run and just slide and jump and slide and jump so without, without having to reach or without having to look at my screen, my finger is, is there naturally. Uh, the only thing I have to do to aim is do a little movement of my finger and pull it back a little bit. Now I can go for some of the settings, but if you can see, it says, it says custom. Usually custom is when you have some hip fire and some one tap ADS. But right now, all my guns are on hip fire, even the snipers. Uh, and then the other things, like you can see my minimap, like it's right there at the top center. And uh, it's kind of small, but like I said, I got used to it a little bit. And you see my grenade button now, it's right left of the of the reload. Uh, other thing I didn't talk about is my, um, my prone. So I want a drop shot, it's right under my joystick. So if I'm in a fight and I decide to drop shot, I stop strafing anyway. So I'll just remove my thumb and click and it's right under again. I don't have to move my thumb left or right. I just go under my joystick and it's gonna, it's gonna drop shot. Uh, and same thing for changing guns is just uh, left of my thumb. I don't have to go uh, very far to, to use it. And my score streak is my, my other thumb. Now, next thing is maybe some settings on the basic settings. So I still use aim assist, uh, it's there, you should use it. I don't know why you would not use it. When COD Mobile started, uh, some players would not use aim assist because sometimes when there's two targets very close, the aim assist will go on the target that you maybe didn't want to and you wanted to shoot the other target. So it could be an issue, but not often enough to justify not using aim assist. So I suggest you use it. Now the rest, my fast throw grenade is off. I know some guys use on, but I don't know. I want to have the option to cook the grenade. It's because I use frag. I mean, if you don't use frag grenades ever, 
uh, I understand using fast throw because you're just gonna you want to click your grenade and just throw it you don't want to fire to throw or, or cook it or hold it tap and hold to ADS that's something I changed recently again because uh, if you just tap to ADS sometimes you don't go out when you want to one more thing tap to to slide I mean everyone or almost everyone is doing this and I am at always sprint um, I tried two things I try not always sprint but sensitivity to 100 and it was not working so good for me I think always sprint is better I don't find any uh, situation where I would walk right now so I'm okay with that field of view is personal uh, I didn't mess with that it was 65 on my iPad I might start changing that a little bit guys so don't uh, maybe don't quote me on that because it's my iPad field of view I don't know for now um, I don't know the rest not much to talk about guys my graphics and settings is just because I stream I don't want my phone to die too fast if I play three hours straight medium graphics and high FPS uh, just so I don't burn my battery too fast, but the phone can play on ultra. It's a, it's a red magic six The link is in the description guys if you want to know the specs and stuff But yeah, and like I said the sensitivity I'm not ready to share right now uh, I want to um, I want to tweak it but definitely fix speed. I always play it on fixed, you know uh, speed acceleration what it does is if you move your thumb faster it will move more and if you move your time slower, it, it will move less. So I guess if you always been playing like that, you're gonna get used to it, but it's, it can be inconsistent a little bit and that could be a problem. Uh, what else? Like I said, standard at 90, I think it's okay now. Uh, you wanna be able to 180 with one large swipe, but the rest, I say don't copy me please, cause uh, it's, it's very personal and I'm not done for now i need to change uh my ads and firing sensitivity um it, i'm still tweaking it so for now that's all i have to share the heads up display to me i'm comfortable with the buttons where they are and the size of the buttons but i still need to tweak some stuff so uh, i'll keep you guys posted i will play rank legendary progression on the phone i will post more videos next season of rank multiplayer gameplay and that's it for now. Let me know in the comments if you have anything to suggest, if you think uh, I'm doing some mistakes on my settings. But like I said, for now, I'm doing okay. And we'll go from here. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for daily comment videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.